Hi, I want to talk to you about the Gerard tankless water heater. And what we have right here is the model GSWH-1. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the proper way to operate the water heater. Because it is tankless, it does operate differently than a tank water heater. So there's a few points that's going to make life a lot easier for you with the tankless water heater. The prepping and the purging of the water lines is very important. You must get all the air out. So the first thing you want to do is take the door off and make sure the power switch is in the off position. Then we're going to go around and purge the air out of all the water lines, outside faucets or outside showers. Wash machines, if there's a wash machine, even if it doesn't have a wash machine hooked up, you have to purge the hot and cold water lines. Then the kitchen sink, you turn it on, make sure there's no air. Then you go to the hot water side and do the same thing. Or you can just put it in the middle and do both at the same time. And now we do the bathroom sink, hot and cold. Next, do the toilet. And then the shower. After you purge the air out of the water lines, make sure that you've done it for the pump side and for the city fill side if you're on city fill. Because there could be air in between the two lines that needs to be purged. Now you can come back outside, turn the power switch on, and bear in mind this power switch can stay on the whole camping season. It's really a standby switch. It's pulling no power so it's not going to drain your batteries. Now we can put the door back on. Now let's go inside and I'll show you how to operate the water heater. The next thing we're going to do is come to the kitchen sink faucet and I want to show you what low flow is, a medium flow, and full flow. Now to operate the Gerard tankless water heater the temperature is determined by the flow rate. So the best thing you can do is start off at a medium flow. Now, what you have to do is you have to wait for the water to get from the water heater to the faucet. Now that can take from a few seconds up to a minute. It's depending how the Arby's plumbing is designed and the location of the water heater to the faucet you're doing. What you'll see is after that time, the water will start getting warm and it'll be a good temperature. Now, if you want hotter water, you're going to decrease the flow a little bit. And the decrease is very little. It's not a dramatic change in water flow. If you want the water not as hot, you're going to increase the flow a little bit. The Gerard GSWH-1 water heater will provide up to a 60 degree temperature rise over your incoming water temperature based on the water flow. Now the Gerard water heater is designed to turn off the burner at about 122 degrees. That's to prevent scalding. After you do the kitchen sink and you feel the water temperature and you adjust it, Whenever you make an adjustment, you have to wait for the water to get from the water heater to the faucet. So that's why it's good to start off at about a medium flow, because you're probably going to be pretty close to the temperature water you want. Now, going to the shower. When you set your shower, the flow, wait for the water to get from the water heater to the faucet, and it'll stabilize. It'll stay within a couple degrees of where you set it, as long as you have a nice steady water flow. Our new generation, the GSWH-1M water heater, features a user-friendly dial rather than having a mode switch like the GSWH-1 had. Now you can adjust this dial from a low flame or low setting, which is 18,000 BTUs, all the way up 
to a high flame which is 36,000 BTUs. This will allow you to have a temperature rise over your incoming water from 20 degrees on low flame all the way up to 70 degree rise on high flame. When you first purchased your RV with the GSWH-1M water heater there should have been a little handy hang tag on the water heater that gives you some quick operating tips on how to operate the water heater. If it wasn't in there check in your owner's packet or the owner's manual for the directions of how to operate. I'd like to spend a few seconds here and talk about the features on the new GSWH-1M tankless water heater. First off, you are going to have a lot more control over the desired temperature you want for hot water. You're also going to have a lot easier operation. Along with the easier operation of the GSWH-1M tankless water heater, you also have a wider range of BTUs. You have from a low flame of 18,000 BTUs all the way up to a high flame of 36,000 BTUs. This means you can have endless hot water in basically any environment. If you have any questions about either Girard tankless water heater, you can visit our website, greenrvproducts.com, or dial our 800 number, 866-559-1221. Thanks. Enjoy RVing with the Girard Tankless Water Heater.